Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. I'm here today with my special guest, Victoria Taylor, and we're at the Mass Horticultural Garden to Table program. And this is a great program, and you are actually the sponsor of this particular bed. The all-important tomato bed, my favorite. And, and there's some gorgeous tomatoes here, all sorts of different varieties. And what are you going to be teaching us about today? Today we're going to make Sicilian red sauce. It's one of my favorite recipes, and it uses only three ingredients. We're going to do that in my very own kitchen. All right, well, let's head into the kitchen and see how we make the sauce. So we've arrived at your kitchen, which I must say is very, very nice. I'm looking forward to doing some cooking. And we're going to be cooking your special sauce with only three ingredients. Tell us the steps. Okay, well first, these are the three ingredients. These are the freshly picked tomatoes. This is a good quality extra virgin olive oil. And this is the Sicilian seasoning, which is my favorite seasoning in my whole line. Those three ingredients combine simply and they make just a delicious red sauce. So Victoria, walk me through the steps to make this wonderful sauce. Okay, first you have to process the tomatoes. And you want to process the tomatoes so that you end up with the consistency that you like best. Some people like a thinner sauce, some people like a chunkier sauce. I kind of like a combination of some chunks with a fairly thin base. So for the small tomatoes, in order to process these guys, we're going to cook them briefly and then put them through a food mill and that will remove the seeds and the skins. For the larger tomatoes, like this one, we're going to briefly boil them and then we're going to remove the skin by hand and the seeds by hand and that will leave us with the larger chunks. And then you're going to mush all the two... Mush them all together. All together. Mush is a very technical cooking Absolutely. word. Absolutely. I often use that term. And how long are you going to cook them for? I cook them until the consistency is what I want. I mean, usually it's just a 10 to 15 minutes at a pretty high heat. and then. I put, this, I put the olive oil in and the seasoning in and I cook them a bit longer. And is there an amount of seasoning or is it sort of to taste? For every 28 ounces of sauce, you're going to use two tablespoons of Sicilian seasoning. So first we boiled some of the small tomatoes down a little bit for about five minutes. And now we're going to put those through the food mill to separate the seeds and the skins. I love the food mills. I use them for making applesauce too. It's just a great kitchen tool. As you can see, we're getting a fairly thin sauce here, but most of the seeds and the skins have been removed. So you've taken these off the boiling water. We boiled them very short amount yeah, of like time. Yeah, like three or four minutes on high, high boil. And now I've put them in a, in a cold water bath. And the skins have just Automatically. It's starting yeah. to come off. You can see the splits here and the wrinkles. These are going to peel right off. So right now, I'm going to take the tomatoes that have been boiled and I'm going to peel the skins off and see how easily those skins come off. And I'm going to cut the end off the tomato. And now I'm going to remove most of the seeds by hand by just opening up the tomato and popping out the seeds. And then when I get a piece like that, it goes into the sauce. All right, so now you're gonna combine the little tomatoes with the big tomatoes and start the cook down process. Exactly, here we have the larger tomatoes that have had most of their skins and seeds removed and you can see that that's a nice chunky consistency. And then here were the smaller tomatoes and that's a much thinner consistency, but again, most of the seeds and skins have been removed. So I'm going to combine these. Combining different kinds of tomatoes gives a great depth of flavor to the sauce. This has cherry tomatoes and Roma tomatoes. Well, this is a batch of red of tomatoes, but that's about 28 ounces of tomatoes. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons of Sicilian seasoning. And then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. And stir to combine. So Victoria, how long are you going to cook this down? I'm going to cook this for about another 15 or 20 minutes. Mm. 
Mmm, it's really good. Isn't it? And a little basil to finish it off. A little garnish right there. Well, Victoria, this was phenomenal. I'm sure that you have enjoyed this. I know that we're going to get eating this, and uh, hopefully you'll follow Victoria Taylor's recipe for this awesome tomato sauce. Come back every week for all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.